Hello everyone, I am Crawlers and this is another episode of Ridiculous Loadout, a, a series where I whore myself out for cheap views running a loadout suggested by one of the comments, and basically trying not to make too much of an ass of myself. Now, today I have something very special, a comment so hideous, so disturbing, so wrong on so many levels, that it's truly worth the name for Cock the Loadout. Um, the suggestion this time comes from uh, Glitchy, asking for a PP-19 semi-auto only, suppressed, and with iron sights. And any pistol uh, suppressed, uh, any pistol of my choice, suppressed except the G18. And he added, try not using your grenades as much as possible. Well, uh, we'll just pretend this didn't happen. And uh, now, he calls this loadout the water pistol. And um, rightly so. But I'll tell you what. I've also seen a very, very similar loadout suggested um, a couple of times before by other um, equally perverted individuals. So actually this suggestion I think was here before Glitchy. I just made like I couldn't see it. And here's why. Um, basically the PP-19 puts out very little damage the stock being 16.7 damage at 12 meters and 12.5 at 40 meters. Now, um, in theory, this could only be offset by its high rate of fire, it being 900 RPM. Now, with the suppressor, the damage drop-off moves to 6 through 32 meters respectively, meaning each shot puts out a hilarious 16.7 damage at only 6 meters. And then you take away the full auto option and start to play with single fire and basically as fast as you can click your mouse. This means that basically uh, it becomes a hilariously inadequate gun. You know, I, I'd have, uh, in fact, uh, it does so little damage I'd be getting less giggles if I try to slap people in the ass with a wet fucking towel. Better yet, since Glitchy gave me my choice of, of a selected silent sidearm, I could use the Aztec with much greater success, as it puts out about twice the damage of this shit gun. And uh, speaking of shit, the iron sights. Since I had to use the iron sights of the PP-19, I basically came to the realization that they are basically useless. Seriously, you can't see shit through them. Which is bad, because with this hilarious amount of damage, I had to try and aim for headshots to get that, uh, you know, two times damage multiplier. Which, if I wanted the kill, and assuming all shots were point-blank headshots, I'd have to get three perfect headshots inside of a six-meter radius just to kill one guy. And this is assuming the other guy isn't fighting back with his AK or M16A3. Another thing that the PP-19 has uh, going against it is is that it has by far the longest uh, reload, the longest long reload time of any PDW at 3.8 seconds. Not to mention its uh, short re reload being among the longest as well, it being 2.4 seconds. Coming third place only after the PP2000, PDWR and P90 who share the uh, top spot together. Oh, uh, by the way, that was an actual uh, knife counter, and uh, not only was it a successful knife counter, but uh, 
I managed to kill the attacker as well as land the knife in a headshot kill. You're not gonna see this too often. Basically, with this setup, you can't shoot anyone from the front. I mean, I mean, you just can't. You better hope that you remain, you know, completely invisible, and you better have a very, very fast trigger finger. I mean, these guys just won't die when you shoot at them. It's like trying to kill a Walmart cockroach. So, um, thanks for watching. I hope you find it entertaining. Um, please rate, uh, share this video, and check out my other videos at the end of this one. And remember, in Soviet Russia, YouTube subscribes you.